Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Cassandra, and welcome back to my channel. So, today's video, I am going to be doing another makeup look. And I'm when I already um, put rose water on my face. This is a rose water, if you don't know. If you're new here, hi, and welcome to my show, my YouTube. So, um, this is the rose water that I always use my face um there's no other rose water just this one that i always use by gardening skin active um it's vegan um so it's good for your face it smooths the facial mist so it's natural and this is what i use if you guys are interesting if you guys are interesting here in my channel and want to know what i put on my face if you're new this is what I put on my face and it's made with rose water and then if you're also interesting what else so I put this and then I always 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 put my milk syrup made with avocado oil that I got from the doll store and let me tell you this leaves your face so soft like really soft and then the other um, oil that I put on my face, which I use it so many videos that I have used, that I have done, which is the Rose Hip Face Oil, which is this one right here. And I love, it also leaves your face really soft and it's instant agents. Um, it tones and calms, um, it has lavender tones and calm skin that is dry so it helps with like dry face and everything and if you know me i always had dry face when i was younger like when i was a little girl i always had like my skin's all my skin gets really dry during winter especially more in the winter it gets more dry so i like using this it helps me put my either my foundation my concealer and everything into place and not to make my face even more dry than it already is if that makes sense and then for my primer, I use my Milani Primer Light Face Primer Base Pour. And it's O2 Prime Light. And this is so good. It leaves my face really, really soft. And just like, looks like a baby skin. <laughs> and I like using this. I got this, I think, was in CVS or walgreens or rite aid i think it was not sure where i got it but i'm pretty sure i think it was cvs but it's really good and now i'm gonna use my little creaseless concealer tart that i got in um sephora which i need to buy a big one of tart because i love this um, I've been staying away, like I said last time in my other video, I've been staying away a little bit of my foundation. Just because I'm trying to create this look without using foundation. And so far, I've been I've been liking it, not using my foundation. Um, so I've been liking using my Tarte Concealer. And so far, it's looking so much better instead of adding so much product to my face. If that makes sense. I'm not saying that I'm giving up putting foundation. But, like... For like a quick, easy, like a quick, quick look, instead of putting on my foundation and my concealer and all that stuff, just use concealer. It's much better and much faster than putting foundation and then concealer and then the rest of your makeup, if that makes sense. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. So I always go like this to my face. And then I kind of like I'm contouring my nose in a way, like that. And then I put some right here, kind of like a little mustache. And then I put some right here in my jaw. And then I put some on my chin. And then on my eyes, I like to do like this, like a little triangle look. And then oh, fill it in. Like that. And I like to do this because it leaves, it's much better than putting a whole bunch of products in your face because ain't nobody got time for that. 
And now that my um, beauty blender is wet, because you're supposed to wet it just a little bit, not too much, but just a teeny bit. And now I'm just going to blend this all in my skin. Bring it on my forehead. So I decided to do another makeup look for you guys. Because I want to do another different makeup look for you guys. And see if you guys can try it. Do it at home. Try to recreate this look on yourself. I like doing makeup looks. Um, especially when, like, if I am really bored. I like to create different makeup looks and experiments with different type of eyeshadows. And make sure what kind of eyeshadow works best for me. What eyeshadow looks good on me. And especially, like, there's, in my makeup palettes, I have, have not played with all the shadows, if that makes sense. Like, I haven't played with all my makeup shot, with all my eyeshadows on my palette. So, I want to experience, like, different looks by using different eyeshadows. Kind of, like, mix it, blend it in, and do a whole different look that I can do at my house. And it also will help me get better on doing my makeup which um so far i've been getting good at doing my makeup and i've been loving it and yeah i've been loving doing my own makeup it's just fun for me it's just really fun doing like my own makeup and it's just something that i like to do as a hobby Maybe, like, later on in the future, that's something that I want to maybe do as a career. Like, do makeup and stuff. But for now, it's just more like I'm trying to learn with different eyeshadow looks and see how that works for me. So, every time I do different eyeshadow looks, you guys love it. And that's... A good thing for me that you guys love every eyeshadow look that I do or recreate on myself and that means so much to me that you guys are watching my channel and learning from me on putting on like different eyeshadows and me telling you where I got this product and everything it just means so much okay now I'm gonna be using my all that glitters palette you know the og that i always use on my face and this is the eyeshadow that i always use on my face that's kind of much like the lid of my uh, the, the eyelids just this one right here which i'm almost out of it so sad um okay and then I'm going to look for all my brushes because then I can't find them. So I have to look through my makeup brushes. There we go. I'm going to be using that on my face. This is what um, ring, 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 who knows, baby? This is something that I want to do. Who knows? So, yeah. Maybe this is something that I want to do. I'll try calling tomorrow or something. There we go. Mm. Okay. Now I'm going to put this makeup palette aside. And I'm going to be using my James Charles, if you know me, my Morphe X James Charles. The mini palette. I'm going to be using this. I love, 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 love this palette so much. And I love how James Charles incorporated a lot of colors to it. 
Kingdom, United States, Japan, Love this palette. So, what I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using this light pink color, which is called Pinkity Drinkity. I'm going to use Pinkity Drinkity. This cute little light pink. It's so cute. And I'm going to put on my eyelids. So let's go use Pinkity Drinkity. And put it on my eyelids. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I know it's just like itchy. They're a legendary chef from their own country. If you hear that, that's my fiance talking. I'm curious about this shit. It's going down. And all those nine chefs are like looking at every single move they make. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why the fucking phone and go off. Like, pick up. I don't know. <laughs> Is she still up? She's still awake? The mother. Oh. Okay, there we go. See, you can't really see it, but she's on. She's on there. And now I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using. Love that, which is this one right here next to Pinkity Drinkity, is love that. So we're gonna be using that. And we're going to be using yeah, that, I call my cousin, yeah, like, on top of cool. that. So we're going to leave Pinkity Drinkity on the eyelid and use all that in the lids. I'm gonna be using it on my other island. There we go. See? Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to be using another shadow. She's going to be using me, her beautiful husband. Now I'm going to be using face, which is this one right here, and put that in the crease.
And now I'm going to be using face for the, see, so it'll be something like this, for the inner corner of my eyes. Inner corner of my eyes. It's blinding. Ooh, see, look at that. Ooh. So, we're done here. I've been getting better, guys. You know how I remember I talk, like, funny? Like, literally, I've been getting better. Which is good. So happy about that. Um, now, I'm going to be using my Milani brow. And the brow. I've been, I know I, ha I have an eyebrow um, brush, but I've been using this, and so far I, I like using this better than the brow brush, to be honest. Yeah. And now I'm gonna be using the brush. I'm gonna like brush it out. See how this one looks different than this one? Okay, we're done with my eyebrows. I'm gonna brush my left eyebrow. Camera real quick here. So I can finish my makeup. Okay. Okay.
Thank you. Now I'm gonna contour my nose. Get that nose a snap. The contour I always use. Nothing new. And my contour brush. Brush it out. There we go. See? Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna highlight my cheekbones with my highlight that I always use. I love this Hello Halo from Wet and Wild. Love it. And it's in the shade 30309B Goddess Glow. Love it. I think I got this in either Rite Aid, when Rite Aid used to be a thing <laughs> here where I live, or CVS. And I'm going to use my... My brush that I always use. That looks like this. My angle brush. Use my angle brush. And I'm gonna brush my highlighter out of my cheekbone. Kind of like one that I look at that glow. Mm -hmm. I know you've seen this glow. I know. Now I'm gonna use it on the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose. And I'm going to blend this. And if you want to use your fingers, you can use your fingers to get those to blend to so something like this. Now close my highlighter. And last but not least, use my two blushes, which are these two. Forget about this. This is our eyeshadows. But these eyeshadows I don't use. So I only use these two blushes. And I like to put it on my cheekbones. Then the bottom of my jaw, and like right here, kind of like up, like kind of like going to the highlight, but you're not going to the highlight where the cheekbone is. So you're just going to your cheeks and on your temples and on my jaw. And that's only what you do. Now, I'm going to be using this look with a lip gloss. So, I'm going to be using this Juicy Gem High Shine Lip Gloss that tastes like peaches. This literally tastes like peaches. You just want to, like, lick it off your lips. So, this is what I'm going to be using because I want all the attention to be on my eyes and not on my lips. If that makes sense. You can throw this look either with a red lipstick, a purple lipstick, or even like a nude lipstick, or a little pinky lipstick, or a lip grid lipstick. And this is how you recreate this look. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this look and will you guys try this 
beautiful look on yourself let me know in the comments below and if you guys like this video of me doing my makeup and just going step by step of what i'm doing to my makeup and stuff uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to do more videos like these i would love to do videos like this for you guys as well just like have a day of doing my makeup and just talking about step by step about what kind of eyeshadow i'm going to mix and everything so if you guys like this video as always give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell and notify you when i upload a video which is friday saturday and sunday and i'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video because tomorrow's brand new video i'm going to have a sit down video with you guys bye guys